Hello, I'm Tiffany and welcome to The Raw Report. In a column for the conservative bulwark, former Republican National Committee spokesperson Tim Miller makes a very compelling case that, health permitting, Donald Trump will be re-elected in 2024 and sworn in January 2025 if Republicans keep falling in line and Democrats don't get their act together. Using the betting markets, which are not in the business of losing money as an indicator, Miller suggested that should Trump face Biden in a 2024 rematch, the twice-impeached former president would prevail. Miller pointed out that the conservative media that fell out of love with Trump after the January 6th insurrection that he inspired have had a change of heart as of late where it wasn't so long ago that they were calling for him to resign. Case in point, the Wall Street Journal. The Wall Street Journal editorial board called for Trump's resignation, saying that he has refused to accept the basic bargain of democracy and that January 6th probably finished him as a serious political figure. Only for the journal to turn around last week and publish a misinformation-filled letter to the editor about the election that they blithely reprinted only to be forced to fact-check it after they received withering criticism. According to Miller, this should be, quote, a wake-up call that people should start taking really effing seriously the notion that a guy who incited a deadly mob on the Capitol in an attempt to overthrow our democracy is the front-runner to become president again. Once that reality is accepted, there ought to be a lot of downstream considerations being made by different participants in our politics. The key to derailing the return of Trump, Miller suggests, is the Democrats, who need to stop their infighting, and the media, who need to accept that the former president is once again posing a serious threat and not a novelty act that has stayed around too long. In addition, they may also want to consider focusing on the problems that people tell pollsters they care about, rather than on the whims of D.C. interest groups. The media should probably start treating Donald Trump like the front-runner he is, rather than a drunk uncle whose deranged ravings can be ignored unless it's convenient or there's a hole in the D-block. Miller didn't let fellow conservatives off the hook, writing, most importantly, Republican politicians and commentators who claim they don't want a wannabe authoritarian lunatic to become president again should probably do something to try and stop it. Before concluding, so here's my message both to the cowards who know better and to the people of goodwill who put it on the line because they care about our constitutional republic. Right now, today, Donald Trump is the favorite to win the presidency again. If you don't want that to happen, then start acting like it. He strongly recommended. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe. And join others who like their news raw too.